Merci, Monsieur le Président. I rise today to address what so many people of color live with every day. Over the past few days, we've seen horrific reports of police violence against black men and women south of the border. But these are not isolated incidents or elsewhere problems. Prejudice, discrimination, and violence is a lived reality for far too many people. It is a result of systems which far too often condone, normalize, perpetrate, and perpetuate inequality and injustice against people of color. As a country, we are not concerned bystanders simply watching what is happening next door. We are part of it. The calls for justice, for equality, for peace have found echo in our communities because anti-black racism is happening here, everywhere in Canada, every single day. This is something that our own staff, cabinet ministers and colleagues face even in these halls. Over the past few days, I've heard many of these personal stories directly from them. And I'm not just talking about acts of violence. I'm also talking about microaggressions, which many of us may not even see. That is the daily reality of far too many racialized Canadians, and it needs to stop. When it comes to being an ally, I have made serious mistakes in the past, mistakes which I deeply regret and continue to learn from. And I want to thank my colleagues, community leaders, and fellow Canadians for opening my eyes to what is really going on in our communities and helping me better understand both privilege and power. I'm not perfect, but not being perfect is not a free pass to not do the right thing. It's not an excuse to not step up, to stand up for each other, to be an ally. I know that for so many people listening right now, the last thing you want to hear is another speech on racism from a white politician. I'm not here today to describe a reality I do not know or speak to a pain I have not felt. I'm here because I want you to know that our government is listening. We hear your calls for justice, equality, and accountability. We acknowledge your frustration, your anger, your heartbreak. We see you. Depuis notre arrivée au pouvoir, notre gouvernement a posé plusieurs gestes concrets pour combattre le racisme envers les Noirs, la discrimination systémique et l'injustice à travers le pays. Nous travaillons directement avec les communautés et leurs leaders pour combler les écarts qui persistent chez nous. Par exemple, nous avons accordé 9 millions de dollars pour soutenir les programmes destinés aux jeunes Canadiens noirs. Nous avons fait des investissements importants pour permettre à l'Agence de la santé publique d'offrir plus de services de santé mentale à ceux qui ont subi le racisme ou un traumatisme intergénérationnel. Nous aidons les organismes communautaires à obtenir du financement pour acheter du matériel ou louer de l'espace. Et nous avons créé le Secrétariat de lutte contre le racisme qui dispose d'une enveloppe de 4,6 millions de dollars pour éliminer les obstacles systémiques, notamment en matière d'emploi, de justice et de participation sociale qui perpétuent l'injustice. Nous avons fait des progrès, mais on sait que le travail est loin d'être terminé. Over the past five years, our government has worked with communities to recognize and address injustices. We've taken action to support community organizations, invest in better data, and fight racism. And while we've made some progress, there is still so much more to do. Because here are the facts in Canada. Anti-black racism is real. Unconscious bias is real. Systemic discrimination is real. For millions of Canadians, it is their daily lived reality. And the pain and damage it causes 
is real, too. Mr. Speaker, every Canadian who has felt the weight of oppression, every student who has the courage to demand a better future, every person who marches and posts and reads and fights from Vancouver to Montreal to Halifax expects more than the status quo. They expect more and deserve better. Le gouvernement du Canada a beaucoup de travail à faire, mais on est prêt. On est prêt à travailler avec nos collègues de l'opposition, les leaders communautaires et les Canadiens pour faire de notre pays un endroit plus égal et plus juste. Le racisme n'a jamais sa place chez nous et nous allons tout faire pour l'éradiquer d'un océan à l'autre. Merci, Monsieur le Président.